Carl idea. I did it. I know that won't work and he'll just quit again. So I want to make him give it up now. But I don't know how to make him quit. But you handle it, so please make him stop his monster shop. I'm so thankful that someone would take this perfect job. Please keep this quest a secret from him. When we last left off, we completed our first sort of major story quests for our party members and advanced in the dungeon a little bit. Uh, we now have two new side quests. We need to get uh, Pixie's Wing and find some guy who's decided to run a monster selling business. Oh, and we picked up two new party members uh, sor a dedicated sorcerer and a thief. We need to level them up. Pasta came running. I told everybody about you guys. You guys. So you can have new members in your potty. Yep, we, we got them already. Uh, uh, oh. Pasta walked around the party looking for something. He wondered why the swordsman was not with you. Hey, tells me. Where, where's Beadmaster Swordsman? Past his round eyes stares straight at you. He died. To be honest. The Master Swordsman be dead? Eyes already knew. Master's health was be getting worse. But Eyes not gonna cry. No matter what. No matter what. Master says one day we meet we meet again. So Eyes are gonna smile. Eyes gonna go home and train. I going to get stronger and have my master be proud of me. So, farewell. <clears throat> okay. If you're wondering why I'm doing that particular accent for... Um... Casta and Orcs. It... There's a... The guy in my D&D game was doing this sort of accent for... Uh, he, was playing, he was playing a goblin character and, and played, played them with that sort of accent. Alright, so odd actions. Currently, all we're now is front guard. Which <clears throat> doesn't help me right now, so let's do individual action. Okay, defend and spell. A thief in addition to the rogue because he got a bow. Oh, that's probably a waste of a spell there, but that's okay. Steenle's up the dip, I want to get back to town. I'll also put explore to the other side of this door. But I can't open it yet. Sarah's gonna level up first anyway. Thief's blood, huh? 
There we go. Got restrict shot and double slash back. Nope, I can't pick up speed to, to bust the door open. That's okay. Now they've got an actual dedicated thief in the party. I'll let them handle this. Handle the, the trap finding is what the ninja. Ugh! Suddenly there was a loud cry. You stopped to see a hobbit. As you stopped to see, a hobbit thief came plotting your way. Jeez, thought I had a new vellum. He looked resentfully at you. Hey, check this out. Thought I found a new vellum, but it was a vellum for a spell I already knew. You gave him a puzzled look, so thief stared back. Huh? You mean you don't know about the vellums? Actually, I do not know about the vellums. I, like, got spell crafting stuff. But not vellum crafting. We haven't got the tutorial for that yet. Ah, huh, figures. That's what I thought. He grinned, thinking his anticipation was uh, was correct. Then I'll tell you about the vellums. Oh, so by the way, they call him a hobbit. Not halfling. The pride of the Tolkien estate didn't sue about this game. Like that's the reason why they're called halflings in um, Dungeons and Dragons. Special spells are created by well-known bishops and witches. These spells can't be made the normal way. That's when you use these vellums. There are necessary materials written on these vellums to create the special spells. After collecting these materials, you can go to the shop and have the vellum spells made. I hear you can find many of these vellums in the labyrinth. Why don't you try and find them? Papa Thief looked down at the vellum he was holding. Oh, I don't really need this. What the heck, I'll give it to you. Whoa, I'm so nice. Papa Thief handed the vellum to you. You got a guiding vellum. I almost forgot. Once you get a vellum, you can leave it at the shop. It's convenient because you don't have to carry it around. Laters, bye bye. Hobbit Thief left in a hurry. And it makes sense because it does take an inventory slot. Bogey Bird's Claw, Pixie's Wing, and Thieves' Blood are drawn. this room. Looks in the wooden box. Diary's written on the cover of the book. Hey! What the heck are you doing in my room? Hey, what the... That's my... The girl suddenly appeared and pointed at the book that you were holding. Her hand was shaking in anger. Did you read my diary? Why did you leave your diary in a dungeon? Ooh, I'm, am I glad. You can really look at it, right? Right? You get a chance to. What do you mean? This is my room. I don't think we'll just walk in and out without, without my permission. Comprende? Then get the heck out. Forced out by her without understanding what was going on. Why are you squatting in the first level of the dungeon? No, don't answer that question. Don't answer that question. I don't want to know. Bye. Take a look. Ah, the, the quest guy I was looking for. Is cute or carry in your back or stomach? I is a really cute one. Hey, you're new here. How about a portable orc? I have questions. Aren't they all cool? They're birds, you know. You can do. Oh, 
Work in the house is going to be a fad. Uh, nope. The horn of a monster, I think. So this is the guy for the quest I took on. Okay, um... I have questions. I have a lot of questions, and, uh... Also concerns. No, this is kind of rough. Come on, the me tell me you don't need the orcs or is cute? That's not the point! Oh well, whatever, I'll see you next time. <sighs> yep, next time. I... Welcome knights in front of the door. Please can store it and look this way. Well, no one allowed in this room. Those who are up on the cheap means guards test should be allowed to go in. Courage try the test. Yes. Show me your courage. You're prepared. Yes. See those monsters that Sir Ladua has created. I made it past this room once before. Oh, harpies. Like, I'm... I'm way over level for these guys. Uh Your strength, you're so guided, just be sure to mind your manners. Okay, uh, that wasn't the one I was thinking of. That's okay. Climbs! I feel like an all attack action. Goes another day. The merchant you've seen before sat on this bradley wind box inside. You were gazing at him, your eyes meet with his as he raised his head. At that time, his depressed expression started to become cheerful almost immediately. He's instantly, he stood up and shouted, 
Hey, I remember you. Come on over. This is a monster shop. We sell live monsters that were caught. What you do is finish them and get their materials. In other words, you can look at materials you need efficiently. I think maybe your assistant. Would you like to buy something and check it out? Oh, just a warning. These guys are really energetic, so be careful. They'll definitely attack you right when you let go. So stay on guard. So which one will it be? So here's the thing. I actually do need pixies for... Um, one of the quests. So, sure. Thanks a lot. A wooden box. Jump from the vile monsters inside the box. Words gently opened the wooden box. The pixie suddenly jumped out, jumped out, and suddenly attacked you. Monsters have suddenly hit you, so they get a sneak attack in, I guess. damage. Okay. Not bad XP wise. Why don't you try to pluck off its wings? But the wings will be ruined and useless material. Whoa, let's both turn out like that. Man, you gotta take it easier. You glare the mutant merchant who's already trying to give lame excuses. Yo, we've been doing this for a while. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't fret, I'll, I'll refund your money. Money back. Not my monster shop was going to do well. But nobody has a material business. It comes to do well from now on. The merchant let a deep sigh. At that time, you heard a door open from behind you. I, uh, eyes, eyes. Nork was acting hesitantly. Oh, what's a little sprout like you doing here? Someone would be my friend Catherine's birthday. Oh, Catherine's be a be a, a rot, rot, rotting girl, rotting corpse. And Catherine says she'd be wanting a present, but I's I's got no allowance. That's why I I wants to sell these. Never broken sort of his pant, pants. I's really weak, so humans tease me. But I'll get my swords broken. Any broken. These swords be broken, but but when you throw them, they be fire spells. So I hears I hear humans want them. I want to go to town, but there there's be full of humans. Bad humans picks on me. I's too scared to go to town. I want to sell each one for 100 G. I have five, so 500 G. Will you trade with me, please? Zorba is desperately pleading with teary eyes. Hmm. Okay, I'll take care of you. 500 G, right? Why don't you hand those swords to, to me? I'll buy them. The orc started bawling as soon as the merchant said he would buy them. Oh, really? Eyes, 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 I, I's really happy! The orc, dripping with tears, and probably also a runny nose, threw himself into the merchant's arms. Okay, okay, just don't wipe your snot on my clothes. The merchant forcibly separated himself from the clinging orc. What's your name? Eyes, eyes Francois. It takes all kinds. My my mother named me. My mother named me. It's it's be a beautiful name. No human name be as beautiful. 
Francois is not an uncommon human name in certain parts of the world, but we'll leave that aside. I just don't look it right now. But one day, I will be as attractive as my name. Ice name. Francois, huh? Here's your 500 G. Merchant handed Francois 500 gold. The Oracle also handed the merchant the sword he was holding. Thanks. No problem, just bring whatever you want to sell, anytime. He, he's he's a, being a good human. I, I is ha happy. <laughs> Francois carefully took the 500 G in his pocket and then marched out of the room. Hmm, buying, huh? Okay, decided. I'm closing down the monster shop. I finally got it. I owed it to that orc. But it's down to get ready for my next business. I'll be opening up another shop. I'll be opening up another shop soon. So come by then. Catch you later. It's not a bad shop concept, actually. I'm gonna go to the tavern get my ward. Let's get the. Let's get the uh, pixie wings first. who I wanted to end. Almost hold up, Sarah. Huh. Broken. Speaking of broken swords. Head back this way. A sorcerer dressed the robe, and an elegant lady in white dress were discussing something. Stopped opening at the sound of the stopped talking at the sound of the opening door and looked this way. Surprised look on the sorcerer's face. Your sorcerer whispered and shook his head with closed eyes. The look of surprise was gone. Instead, he stared that way with a sharp look in his eyes. I am the Dua Almze. I am the leader of Her Majesty's Shield, the Queen's Guards. And I shall introduce you introduce you to the role in the ruler of Duhan, Queen Otelier. On your knees, adventurers. The duo spoke with a clear, dominant voice. Use voice used to giving orders. My knees. Move quickly as your body and all you can do. Durkin's attitude gave good impression to the comrades with a good or neutral attribute, which is my entire party. The Majesty, do you wish to have a few words with this person? The Queen nodded in response to Dua and turned her cold eyes towards him. All of them blabbered to be under Duhan's supervision. The friends of the soldiers do not accept the blabberings, but the terror of the people tell there is any family in progress. Yet, before a full investigation with the soldiers that we have left, many have perished during the flash. Recently, a huge number of the undead are emerging, thus the number of soldiers have increased even more. The Queen spoke indifferently. We cannot allow any more soldiers to perish. It's really long to go to the labyrinth. Do not forget where you stand. You're assisting the investigation in every way possible. 
you obstruct these soldiers, we will punish you accordingly. Any conflicting ideas, best be to leave now. All you can do is nod in approval of the Queen's statements as if they were read from a script, which they probably are. Very well. In return for cooperation, I'll allow you to do as you wish with the treasures that you find. You will also have no involvement with any disputes with other you have with other adventurers, quarrel as you wish. The duo give this person do I give the person a pass? Certainly. The duo pull the vellum for you, let's give this the pass. The associate guard from the stairs hanging down. Got the pass! Yay! Quest item. We do that, we have a job to request of you. You know this place again that if monsters are missing, we're ordered to find the unit, there will of course be a reward. There's no need to worry. Left. Now you may go on. Okay, quest. With the eyes of the appeal to a fall, you're every mood and you just go the room. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any f future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.